Post the new Type 8 update, engineering your ship to dramatically improve its performance has never been easier. So whether you're a new commander, or haven't perhaps had the time to dedicate to engineering, you may well be tempted to have a go. Welcome, Commander. How goes your journey through the void? In this series of videos, I'll be going through unlocking each engineer, taking into account the changes since the latest Type 8 update. Engineering your ships and weapons has now become much less time consuming, allowing those commanders with limited time to play the game the chance to bulk up their arsenal. This video here focuses more on the finer details of engineering from the perspective of a new player or a player new to engineering. The aim is to help you understand what is required as well as give you some ideas on how to gather the materials required. So here we are, trying to unlock our first engineer, Felicity Farzia. This engineer specialises in frameshift drives, so we're looking to significantly increase our jump range. Here you can see the requirements needed to unlock access to her. You basically need to have your exploration rank at Scout or higher, which you can easily achieve by just scanning systems, and then you need to bring her a single unit of meta alloys. This is where we pick up my new commander. You can quickly identify where to pick up a meta alloy by using the inara.cz website and looking at the commodity search. I got mine from a player's carrier nearby, so I picked one up and now I'm heading over to the engineer to drop it off. This way, I can then focus on gathering the materials needed to upgrade my frameshift drive. Next, we need to generate our shopping list of the materials we will need to hand over to Felicity in exchange for engineering our frameshift drive. For this, I use the ED Engineer application. It's a great third party app that reads your game files and basically tells you not only what you need for a particular upgrade, but how many of the specific items you currently have, so it makes generating your shopping list nice and simple. Here is where I make my first mistake, however. With full Grade 5 access to the Engineer, you will require one roll of Grade 1 to complete a Grade 1 upgrade, then two rolls of Grade 2 to complete a Grade 2, and so on, up to five rolls of Grade 5 to complete the upgrade. However, initially when you unlock the Engineer, you will need more rolls per grade to build your rep with that Engineer until you earn Grade 5 access, a lesson I learned the hard way later in the video. The good news is that this only happens after initially unlocking the Engineer, and once you have Grade 5 access, you can rely on the one roll needed for a Grade 1 upgrade, two for Grade 2, etc. for any future upgrades. Now, assuming you have Grade 5 access to an Engineer, this will be your shopping list for the increased Jump Range modification with Mass Manager Special Effect. This will give you the maximum upgrade on your Jump Range. As you can see, I have next to no materials, so I'll need to head out into the black to get them. First job will be to gather all the data that we'll need. This means heading out to the HIP 12099 system, Moon 1B, and after doing a surface scan of the planet, you will see the location, Jameson crash site in your nav panel. I'm going to head there now and get into my SRV. Dotted around the crash ship, you will find multiple data points to scan, each of which will provide you data. You will mainly get adaptive encryption to capture and atypical encryption archives, and our goal here is to max out our inventory of these items which we will trade at a material trader later for the items on our shopping list. This used to be quite time consuming, but with the recent changes in the Type 8 update, this took me no longer than 10 minutes to do. Our next location is the Hades Sector DR-V C2-23 system, Planet A5. Again I'm going to do a surface scan and head down to the famous settlement known as Dav's Point. Here we will gather various manufactured materials that we can again use to trade for the ones we actually need at a material trader, so we will scoop up absolutely everything. 
This isn't the only way to gather materials, you can farm high grade emission signal sources in space, but if you haven't been here before, I suggest you give it a visit. You basically follow a set path and pick up all the materials until you get to the end. You then have the option of re-logging back into the game to respawn some more random materials and run another lap. I'm pretty sure though this is the kind of thing Frontier are trying to get commanders away from with the recent changes, so you can decide on whether this is something you want to do. However, there is no way you can get everything you need in one run, and Frontier have left Dav's hope in the game, so I'm guessing it's okay. I have done another video showing exactly what route I take at this settlement, and we'll link it here. Another great advantage of the ED Engineer app is that it will tell you when you have enough of a material to trade for the one that is on your shopping list. Basically, if the Engineer Trader section on the bottom right is all highlighted in blue, then you have enough to trade. This means it's easy for you to know how many runs at Dav's point you need to do before you head off to a material trader. Speaking of which, we have all we need, so it's time to leave Dav's point and head out to gather some raw materials on a planet. First, we need to figure out which planet we are going to. We need arsenic, phosphorus and manganese, so I'm going to head back to inara.cz Click on the search nearest button and then on the bodies tab. In here, I'm going to add these raw materials in the materials present box and click on search. I like the look of this body here, it's only 60 light years away and has a good material percentage. So let's head on over and start prospecting. Again there are other ways of doing this, but in terms of gameplay this is just the way I like to do it. After landing on the planet and getting into my SRV, it doesn't take me long before I start finding what I need. I'm not sure if the spawn rates have increased since the Type A update, but I can tell you I found what I needed pretty quickly. A little over 10 minutes later, and I have everything I need. Back to ED Engineer, and as you can see I have all the raw materials I need, and I have the necessary materials to trade for everything else on my list. I use Inara.cz to find the nearest material traders. Again, I go to search nearest, then under station services I'm looking for material trader, then simply input the system you are in and click search. I specifically need an encoded and a manufactured trader, this means visiting two separate traders, so I find the nearest suitable and head on over. Here I trade some data for the ones I need on my shopping list. After doing the same at the manufactured and material trader, my shopping list is complete, so I'm going to head back to Felicity in order to complete my frameshift drive upgrade. This is the part where I didn't factor in my rep with the engineer. If I had full level 5 access, one roll would have been enough to progress to grade 2. But as you can see, one roll wasn't enough. I've been looking over the internet to see how many rolls in total it would take to, for each grade factoring in earning rep with the engineer, but couldn't find a definitive answer. If you know what it is, please feel free to add to the comments and I will update the video here with the requirements. Now with this particular engineer, as well as rolling engineer mods to gain reputation, you can also sell exploration data. I sold her approximately 1.6 million worth of data, most of which I'd gathered by honking each system on the way here, and that progressed me all the way to level 3. This all threw my plans out, so I decided to just engineer what I could with what I had left, and see where I was. I got to my second roll of grade 3 before I ran out of materials. So at this point I estimated I may well need another 4 rolls at grade 3 and multiple rolls at grade 4 in order to get my rep up to level 5. So I headed back to the material traders and made sure I had enough resource for a further 4 grade 3 rolls, 5 grade 4, as well as the 5 rolls I would need for grade 5. Then I headed back to Felicity. With these additional resources, I was able to complete my upgrade. 
And more importantly, I now have the maximum rep with the engineer, so this won't happen again. My jump range had increased to 36 light years from 25 before I started, so a significant increase. I am planning to unlock the Guardian Frameshift Drive Booster module soon, which will add even more to my jump range, so keep an eye out for that video. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. In the meantime, thank you for watching, and I'll see you out in the black.